Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to quickly have a look at this origin theme, which is completely free for Shopify. And so before we install it, let me quickly view the theme and this is by Shopify. So include support for quick view, product quick view stock counter mega menu sticky header so let's open this in a new tab also install the theme on the store this is how it looks like so this is minimalist and i think for it is good for stores that stores that don't have lots of products right hmm this is completely free theme by Shopify if I go to themes and click on origin try uh, try this theme so adding origin to your online store themes hopefully it's going to be added let me check yeah last time it was just trying to connect so this is how it looks like yeah, if you go to any product page a quick view this is yeah so this is how it looks so many so many images right Full details that was already a uh, okay. Minimalist theme and it's good. Origin then added to my dev store. Let me publish it. Publish it and view it with my store. my store uh, let's let's view this store so okay introduce your brand or product with a bold statement okay awesome awesome i see so it is already taking some of the old uh, theme settings from a previous theme so this is why you can see few images um, so menu where is the menu okay let's select the image select the menu main menu added saved you're saying this is going to be a yeah top left middle left okay so middle center okay <laughs> Top center we've already seen. I think it depends on your requirement. So I'll put it on the left. Standard and very classic style. Inverse. Okay, looks better. Alright, so. Hmm. This is okay. Hmm, the font is also a different one. Now if I go to catalog, let's see if I refresh this now it looks slightly different. Oh, it's not picking up. 
Have I already saved already? Yes. Let me view it from here. Okay, it's still not picking up. The changes, right? Let me refresh. Oh no, this is weird. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, the one thing a lot of brands would like to keep this in the center. So, so collection image, I don't have any. Okay. Collection descriptions, we don't have any description. And uh, vertical offset. Perfect, but th there has to be some alignment settings as well because I was working with one of my clients and she wanted to have it in the center. Nah. Everything in the center, right? Everything. So, hmm. Let's see what we have in the product information. So we have description it's completely standard, standard description, right? While in the tall theme, you have accordions. Okay, so I'm going to use this, I'm going to keep this theme on my store active. And let's see how it is. I suppose it's going to be faster than the dawn thing. Also, this is a completely brand new theme, so there might be some, you know, issues, uh, unaddressed issues. So, like this one, it's not. I don't know, it's not picking up the changes in the customization, from the customization. Uh, my container, yeah, let's see what, what we have here. So, uh, by default this is what you get. These are the settings, colors you can definitely change. Uh, typography, uh, you have lots of fonts that you can use. I'm going to keep the default one and then you have you can scale the font size for both body and the headings body text and headings layout vertical space horizontal space grid page width buttons uh, thickness a little bit little bit more is the best let me save it now i am assuming there are a few bugs on this theme except the okay now i just picked up so i was not able to save it you see i'm not sure why i think this has nothing to do with the theme. This has to some with this so Shopify system, right? Mm, okay. Product cards, standard. Let me go to catalog. And then go to uh, theme settings. And see what we have here. So standard. Oh, let's, let's put it on the card. Okay, bit better. Can I change the background? Text alignment better. Left is okay. Background, yes, I can. I would definitely keep the inverse color. Yeah. Or I should just pick, assign a color to uh, accent one and lighter than this one obviously uh, you don't 
you want your okay so I'm going to keep it background to visitor uh, you want your visitors to see the images first and then okay oh, one more thing with dawn based themes you don't get buttons to quick, quickly let them add to your car their, their carts and then so this is another issue with the dawn based theme so when you when you use dawn based theme uh, you should have someone to help you add the car, add to cart button to every product on the catalog page and wherever you are showing your product so blog card standard i want to keep it on the card content container i think you should just check every options media we already see drop down and pop-ups okay so we have pop-ups as you can see blurry and all that oh, this drawer we have drawer okay so let's 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 add this to can you go to this product page and then let's 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 see so if i add okay so by default it's a drawer you definitely want to change it to the page card page or drawer according to your requirement so okay we were here drawer badges icons social media search behavior what this is enable product suggestion okay over oh, the search buffer. show vendor search behavior they are talking about this search uh, favicon i've seen a lot of people don't have favicons right just generate a favicon from your logo install it currency formatter uh, currency format sorry okay so you can change your drawer you can see, you see show vendor you can select a collection on dawn based theme if you their cart is empty you want to show your suggestions products from uh, su kind of suggested collection uh, anything right anything that you think is very generic a lot of people might be interested in and so we look at this one here now hmm. let's see now what we have if you go to home page so every theme comes with sections distinct sections common sections add sections blog you can see what I've done recently. So if you are kind of switching from one to another theme, I would suggest if you have any custom section that on, on your previous theme and your current theme or the, the theme you want to switch to, upgrade to, update to, doesn't have that particular section. So you should create a private app and keep your section separate from the theme and this is what I've done here so this will make sure next time you switch to another theme you will have your sections ready so you can do it yourself once it's created you would not require anyone any developer or designer to help you upgrade to a new theme or so this is why you should just keep your uh, sections separate in a private app okay that's that's a good idea so you can see these are the common sections available blog post collage collage what i don't know collapsible content collection list so this is kind of uh, image styling they call it collage and uh, image image sign up uh, 
if this is okay then perfectly fine otherwise you should go ahead and use some uh, app for for a fancy email sign up form or you can have it designed and put it in your custom app uh, featured uh, featured products featured collection uh, custom liquid image banner very common one that you can find in almost every dawn based themes so these are the sections available with this origin theme by Shopify which is completely free good for small businesses and if you have just few products also if your visitors are coming from small devices this theme is going to be way faster than the dawn theme uh, but it will get lesser updates and bug fixes compared to dawn theme because that is completely uh, open source and every day every day there are lots of people working on it from the community okay so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below thank you for watching have a good evening bye for now